worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Majesty Kingdom authority Flows from His throne your name lord this morning we exalt you lord king of all kings we thank you father lord we thank you let us thank the lord this morning father in the name of the lord jesus christ we thank you we thank you lord for drawing us to this place of prayer and power this morning father we thank you for the salvation of our soul oh majesty king of all kings we thank you thank you father for your greatness for your power, your glory, your majesty, your splendor, and your righteousness. Lord, we thank you. We bless you, Lord. Thank you for the work that working power in your word and in the blood of the lamp lord thank you because that is the lamp of god that take away the sin of the world just as your word say your word says it in john chapter 1 verse 29 that the next day he saw jesus coming to him he said behold the lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world we thank you lord for the salvation of our soul thank you lord jesus christ thank you we adore you as the the lamp of God who takes away the sin of the world. We honor you for your sacrifice, a sacrifice that is pure enough to be counted as righteousness. There is now no condemnation for us because of your blood sacrifice on our, on our behalf. Not only did you allow 
us to be forgiven, but you remove our guilt. We worship you. We adore you for your grace and your mercy, which enable us to ascend in our identity to where you are seated at the right hand of God in the heavens. Oh, glory. Hallelujah be to your name, O oh Lord. Our identity is now in you because of this great name of yours, the Lamp of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lamp of God. You are the Lamp that takes away our sin. We understand that God the Father is holy, he is just. He is not merely reactionary when it comes to his response to sin. He doesn't just lose it and get mad. Rather, his rod, his rod is tied to his justice, and his justice is part of his nature. And why he doesn't prefer rod, he can speak, skip justice. He has to exercise it. Thus, out of his great mercy and grace, he came up with a way to avert his wrath, the blood of the Lamb, your sacrifice. Jesus avert judgment based on the Father's justice. We confess our sin this morning. Our sin of disobedience. Our sin of stubbornness. Our sin of doubt unfaithfulness, arrogance, greed. We confess this morning. We confess before you as you receive the free forgiveness that you offer. Forgive us the lamp of God. The lamp of God that take away our sin. Forgive us. Forgive us the sin. As an individual, as a corporate body, forgive us. As a nation, forgive us our sin. Bloodshed, violence, injustice, forgive us. Forgive us this man, Lord. We thank you for the life that we have, which is rooted in you, the lamp of God the sin bearer and remover of our shame. Thank you, Jesus, for the kindness you have shown us despite our sins. Thank you that we do not need to fear where we will spend eternity because we are assured of salvation through the sacrificial lamb. Thank you. Would there be anyone among us this morning who have not come, who have not behold the lamp of God this morning? Holy Spirit, bring conviction. Bring conviction that they may have the hope of eternal life. Thank you that we do not need to fear rejection or the wrath of a holy God because your righteousness has been imputed to us. When the Father looks at us now, he sees the blood of the Lamb. He sees your perfect overriding our, 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 our sinfulness. Thank you, Father. Thank you for provision of hope and peace through your shed blood. Thank you. We ask this morning, may we never be ashamed of it, that we refuse to tell others the way that they too can receive eternal life. Show us how to better honor what you have done as the lamp of God, so that our life will be used by you to bring you glory. Because majesty, all glory and honor belongs to you. This morning, Father, we have come to seek a greater commitment in ourselves toward uplifting your name. Show us how to live that out as we steward our time, our talents, our treasures under you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Hallelujah be to your name. Thank you for the daily blessing that you load us with. Thank you for dispatching your angels of blessing into our midst this morning. Thank you, Father, Lord God Almighty, because no one among us, Father, will leave this place of prayer this morning in the same way. But we will be transformed. We will be restored. Because that is what you do. Hallelujah be to your name. 
as we go into your word, Lord. Enlighten us, O Lord. Quicken our hearts, O Lord God Almighty, that we'll not just be here alone, but Father Lord, we'll be doers, O Lord so that we become better man and woman of what you want us to be. Hallelujah, be to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, hallelujah. Let us turn our Bible to Psalm 63. Psalm 63 this morning. Psalm 63 A Psalm of David When he was in the desert of Judah You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, your right hand upholds me. Those who want to kill me will be destroyed. They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God will glory in him, while the mouths of liars will be silenced. Amen. Hallelujah. The mouths of liars will be silenced in the name of Jesus. Quickly, we can see that these psalms can be divided into six parts. And I say six aspects of godly prayer. And it can help us. We can, you know, follow this pattern. The first one is that verse one. I call it sincere prayers. And sincere prayers often derive from desperate circumstances. That verse 1 says, You, God, are my God. Honestly, I seek you. Honestly, I seek you. Sincere prayers often derive from desperate circumstances. Most of us, we're not going to pray until we find a desperate situation. We get the doctor's report or something tragic happen. That is when we will pray. It's all right. We're not condemning it. But we're saying you do not need to wait for that time to start to pray. Another aspect is that powerful prayers. Powerful prayers. Aspect of godly prayer is powerful prayers. That is the later part of that, that word. Say, I test for you. My whole being long for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. It's so you imagine. David is in the wilderness. He's not even as panting for water. What he's asking for is God. Powerful prayers reveal their dependence upon God. He knew his position. Oh God, thou art my God. It was only a man. God was his God. He was not his powerful general, you know, who thought he got what he had because of his greatness. God was key in the life of David. Not just because he thought so, but because God was real. So David's secret was simple. He knew himself in light of God. Secularism destroys man because it allows him to see himself without God's perspective. God made him who he was, and so he was consciously dependent upon God. And David committed himself to depend on God in the future. 
He said, I shall seek thee earnestly. No matter success or failure, no matter if he was in the unexplainable wilderness of life or not, he knew his life was on that that had passion for God. Another aspect I want us to consider is that great prayer always results from an encounter with God. That is verse 2. Verse 3 to 5 is affectionate prayer. Affectionate prayer responds to God's love with adoration. And the fifth one is um, uplifting prayer. Uplifting prayer reflects God's past marvelous work. Always look at what God has done. Reflect. Reflect back. And the last one is faith prayers. Faith enables one to face difficult situations with courage. With courage. But this morning, I just want us to key in on verse 6. Verse 6 said, On my bed I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. The question to us this morning, where do your thoughts turn you when you are at, at rest? Where do your thoughts turn when you are at rest? Where are your mind wonders in idle moments tells us a lot about ourselves? Do you daydream in the realm of sport, politics, or family events? Does your mind graze on of pornography or steaming romance novel? Are you plotting your plans for the week or the weekend? My mind and yours is a busy place. If it's not occupied with things at hand, our minds will invent thoughts, opinions, and worries to keep self engaged. Where did David's mind go when he was at rest? We find the answer here in Psalm 63. He said, On oh, my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the washes of the night. Rather than worry about the schemes being hashed by his enemy, King David's mind was focused on the Lord. You see, we may mistakenly believe that being king meant dwelling in a worry-free, secure zone, but nothing could be further from the truth. Those of us who are in leadership, whether at church or in your place of work, how do you find it? It's not easy. Because all eyes are on you. They're just looking for your mistake. That is in the physical realm. You talk about the spiritual realm. You think the demons like it? You wake up in the morning and you want you to pray? No. It will try to do everything to prevent you. So, but nothing could be further more from the truth for the king. Kings in the Old Testament were frequently assassinated. Rebellions and backroom treachery were common. And metaphorically, the king walked about with a bullseye target on his back. Are today's followers of the Lord Jesus Christ any different? The true and faithful follower of Jesus is engaged in spiritual warfare, whether you enroll in it or not. The sons and daughters of the king are target practice for the demons of hell. Temptation comes in a variety of ways. Sometimes enticement wearies, you know, enticement wears a pretty dress. Other times it offers a fast buck. Or a truly escape. Maybe temptation simply dazzle and distract us into soul deadly spiritual apathy. You know, that we don't care anymore. So this morning, turn your mind to the Lord Jesus Christ through the washes of the night because you can rest assured He's watching you. 
where does your mind go when you are at rest? Does the Holy Spirit come to change your thoughts? Make an intentional effort. So this morning, let us pray. That Lord Jesus, I want my mind to find rest in you. Talk to him this morning. That Lord Jesus, I want my mind to find rest in you. I know that my sins are forgiven. And your love for me was proven on the cross. You lived for me. You died for me. You loved me. Oh, what joy that thought brings. Think about it. When you think about Jesus, what he has done for you, how he loves you, how he cares for you, he died in your place. Take that burden of sin away. Give you the hope of eternal life. If you are facing a sleepless night, just start thinking about the wondrous things he has done for you. And praise him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ. So let's turn how we can use that passage now to pray. Say, you, God, are my God. Honestly, I seek you. Oh, Lord, my God, my Savior, my all in all, my Jesus and my Lord. Tell him this morning, oh, Lord, my God, my Savior, my all in all, my Jesus and my Lord. Thank you that you are my God and that you are the living water of life that satisfies the longing of my heart in a dry and thirsty land. Thank you that you are my God and that you are the living water of life that satisfy the longing of my heart in a dry and thirsty land. I thank you. No matter where I am or in what circumstances I find myself, you are the rock upon which I stand and the heavenly lover of my soul. Oh, Jesus, lover of my soul. Thank you. Thank you. Let us pray that, Lord, I pray that my love, my passion for you would multiply more by more. Lord Jesus, I pray that my love and my passion for you would multiply more by more. For you alone can satisfy my inner longing and understand the deepest cry of my heart. You alone, you alone, Lord Jesus. There is no other one. You alone. For thou art my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and a thirsty land. So I look for you in the sanctuary. To see your power and your glory. Lord, I look for you in your sanctuary. To see your power and your glory. Let us confess this morning. That Lord, some morning, some morning I had to rise from bed. But every morning without you feels empty. Yes, Lord. Some mornings I had to rise from bed. But every morning without you feels empty. You are the start of my day. And you are the one who set my course. This morning, I do not need more sleep. I need more Jesus. More, more, more about Jesus. I need you, Lord Jesus. God, my soul, my soul, how it thirsts for you. My flesh, my whole body, how much is long for your presence. I need your presence. Let us cry out like David this morning. That, Lord, nothing of this work can satisfy the way you can do. No. Nothing can satisfy. No one could do me like you do, Lord. No one could love me like you, you know, like you do. Nothing of this work can satisfy the way that you do. Many things bring me a bit of passing pleasure. But only you bring me joy. Only you, Lord. You are the source of my joy. Talk to the Lord this morning. You are the source of my joy. 
How do I wander so often? How am I so easily lured away by the promises of earthly things? Yet when I get there, I find that the world, you know, the world is dry. Everything is chasing after the wind. This word has nothing to offer me that you do not give freely, Father. This word has nothing to offer any one of us that you have not given us freely. Every broken road I have gone down has led me back here to your throne, at your feet. Here in your presence, I feel your power. I can see your glory. Talk to the Lord this morning. I've wandered far away. Father Lord, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Because every broken road I've gone down has led me back here to your throne, at your feet, here in your presence. And I feel your power. I can see your glory. Lord Jesus, fill me today with your Holy Spirit. Pray. Lord Jesus, fill me today with your Holy Spirit. Help me to walk just as you walk before because I love you. Help me to walk just as you walked because I love you. Oh, Father, to you I sing praises. You are awesome, God. You have saved me by your great love. Hallelujah to your name. I sing praises to your name, Lord. I sing praises to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name. Verse 3 said, Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall sing praises to you, Lord. Your loving kindness is better than life. Lord, let every man, every woman, every child, every creature, that has breath in their lungs, sing praise to you. Oh yes, Lord, the day is coming when every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Praise him this morning. Worship the Lord this morning. That Father, your love, your grace, your mercy, your loving kindness, they all blow me away. I'm unworthy to stand before you. But your son has washed me clean. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. God, help me to speak praises today. Help me to speak, to speak and sing praises today. Lord, help me to sing and to speak praises today. Help me to stand before fallen men and women and speak praises toward my king. I will not be ashamed. Lord, lift my hands in worship and, and, and stand on a shame. Let me lift my hands in worship and stand on a shame. Lord, I do not desire the approval of men. I desire to be satisfied by your great love alone. This is our Father. Pour your heart to him this morning. I do not desire the approval of men. I desire to be satisfied by your great love alone. Holy Spirit, give me the strength to be a great witness of the gospel. Holy Spirit, give me the strength to be a great witness of the gospel. Help me to demonstrate the love that you have shown me. Oh, help me to demonstrate the love that you have shown me. Fill my mouth with praises and gentle words of encouragement. Holy Spirit, fill my mouth with praises and gentle words of encouragement. Lord Jesus, make me to be your hands and feet on this earth. This is a prayer of commitment. Lord Jesus, make me to be your hands and your feet in this earth. Give me your heart, Lord, and let me bring glory to you. Bring me your, give me your heart, Lord, and let me bring glory to you in the name of Jesus. That the next verse, verse 6 and 8 said, When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night washes because you have been my help 
Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand opposes me. Hallelujah. Lord, I want you to be the first thing on my mind every morning. I want you to be the last thought each night as I lay myself down to sleep. Talk to him this morning. Lord, my father, I want you to be the first thing on my mind every morning. And I want you to be the last thought each night as I lay myself down to sleep. And help me to pray for the people and task that you bring to my thoughts as I lay in bed. Help me not just to be worrying about it, but to commit them into your hand. Every thought and task that you will bring to my mind as I lay in bed. Help me, Lord, to pray for the people and for the task. Help me to surrender my struggles over to you and to seek your counsel and your power to see those things to grow. Oh, Father God, help me to surrender my struggles, my struggles over to you and to seek your counsel and your power to see those things through. For you never fail. Oh, God, you have never failed me. Not once. So why should you fail me now? Your track record is flawless. For God never fails. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass, but Jesus never fail. You never fail. Even when I rejected you, you have always been there for me. You have never abandoned me. You have never left me alone. Therefore, I desire to just rest in your peace. In your peace. And so pray that tonight, as I lay myself down to sleep, let me find my greatest rest from you. Lord, tonight, as I lay myself down to sleep, help me find my greatest rest from you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You can take these Psalms on your own and pray it accordingly. And the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Now let us go for our warfare prayer. And this, we're going to turn to the Psalms again from Psalm 2 this morning. Pray that, my Father, <laughs> let every rage and every vain imagination of the enemy against me amount to nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, let every rage, every vain imagination of the enemy against me, against my ministry, against my career, against my marriage, against my children. You just name it this morning. Father, Lord God Almighty, you are my father. And Lord, I'm asking, let every rage and every vain imagination of the enemy against me and my household amount to nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, your word says that the king of the heart set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Oh Lord, pray that Lord, let every spiritual king and ruler taking counsel against me be dethroned in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let every spiritual king and ruler taking counsel against me, against my household, let them be dethroned this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, even though they are saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. Oh Lord, break every band and destroy every demonic cord. Tie me down. Tie my children down. Whether in my marriage or in my business or my ministry. Father God, this morning I ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, break every band and destroy every demonic cord that is tying me down. In the name of Jesus Christ, any demonic cord that is tying my children down, Lord, let it be broken this morning. Break it, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And pray that, Father, let the fire of the Lord descend and consume every ungodly agreement gathered together against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, let the fire of the Lord descend and consume every ungodly agreement gathered together against me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
let your fire consume them oh lord in the name of jesus christ pray this man because the word of god say he that sits in the heavens shall laugh the lord shall have them in derision ask the lord that this man lord you are the god almighty that sits in heaven so laugh at the devices of my enemies Lord, have laugh at them. Laugh at the devices of the enemy. Because when you render it impotent, when you render it useless, Almighty Father, have them in derision this morning. Every device, whatever be their devices that they are using in my life, in my family, that has been working for them, Lord, let it begin to work against them. Laugh at the devices of the enemy. Because, oh Lord, your word said that you will frustrate the devices of the crafty so that their hand will not be able to perform. Heavenly Father, we pray this morning upon each soul on this prayer platform that whatever be the devices of the crafty in their life, in the life of their children or any member of their household, let that devices be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. For then he shall speak unto them in his throne, and face them in his soul displeasure. So, Father, according to your word this morning, arise, O Lord, speak angrily against all demonic opposition in my life. Speak angrily, Lord, against all the demonic opposition in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father God, speak angrily against all the demonic opposition in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your vengeance come upon the powers of darkness walking against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, this morning, let your vengeance come upon the powers of darkness walking against me in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, as the enemy bend his bow to shoot arrows at me, let them melt away as waters and let them be cut into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Because your word say, let them melt away as waters which run continually when he bent his bow to shoot his arrows. Let them be cut in pieces. So, Father, according to your word, as the enemies bend their bows to shoot arrows at any one of us, at any member of our household this morning, let them melt away as waters and let them be cut into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Be thou exalted, O God. Above the heavens, let thy glory be above all the earth. Ask the Lord this morning that, Lord, exalt yourself above every contrary situation in my life. Mighty God, exalt yourself above all contrary situation in my life, in the life of my children, in the life of my grandchildren, in every member, my spouse. My, just mention them this morning. Heavenly Father, exalt yourself. Exalt yourself. Be thou exalted, O God. Above the heavens, let that glory be above all the earth. Father, Lord, exalt yourself above every contrary situation in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God. Exalt yourself. In this situation, in the life of my son, in the life of my daughter, exalt yourself, O oh Lord. Exalt yourself above every contrary situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning. Lord, be my rock and defense and make me immovable in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, be my rock and my defense and make me immovable in the name of Jesus Christ. Be my shelter and strong tower from the attacks of the enemy. Oh yes, Lord. Just as the psalm declared, for thou art been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Lord, be my shelter and a strong tower from the attacks of the enemy for every member of my household, O oh Lord. For the word of God say, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Lord, me and my family run into this tower this morning. 
be our shelter and a strong tower from the attacks of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. And pray that mighty Father, let the heritage of those that fear your name be my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the heritage of those that fear your name be my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. As we're praying now, Psalm, um, I know Isaiah 54, 17 says this, no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. And every mouth that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Because this is the heritage. Hey, hallelujah. Do you get it now? This is the heritage. This is your heritage. So pray, mighty Father. And that heritage is that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. And that every mouth that shall rise up against me in judgment, I will condemn. So I stand on the authority of the word of God this morning. Brothers and sisters, know your heritage. Stand on it this morning. Let the heritage of those that fear your name be my portion, O Lord. And that heritage is that any mouth that rises up against me, I silence it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any mouth that is rising up contrary to your will and your purpose for my children, I silence it in the name of Jesus Christ. I silence it in the name of Jesus. Every voice calling me to demotion, be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Be silenced. Every voice speaking contrary to the will of God in my life, in the life of my children. Be silenced. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be silenced this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning from the word that we just read in Psalm 63. He said, those that seek my soul to destroy shall go down to the lower part of the earth. So ask the Lord, let those that seek to destroy my life descend into the lower part of the earth, according to your word, Lord. Let them descend into the lower part of the earth, in the name of Jesus Christ. For they shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. Yes, that is where they belong, if they do not repent. Let the evil powers that are after my destiny fall by your sword and become a portion for the foxes in the name of Jesus. Let the evil powers that are after my children's destiny fall by your sword and become a portion for the foxes in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to picture what David is praying about. Remember, David is a, is a shepherd. So when he's talking about the foxes, you know, that any, the animal that we destroy, you know, you can just picture what David is saying, eh? that this is how they will be tearing into pieces this morning. Picture it. So, Father, let evil powers that are after my destiny, after my children's destiny, let them fall by your sword. And become a portion for the foxes. They'll be eaten up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 11. Which is where we will stop. He said, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swear by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Again, this is our heritage. Lord, let the mouth of those who rise up against me be silenced, O Lord. And let my life show forth your glory in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning that, Father Lord, let the mouth of those who rise up against me be silenced, O Lord. And let my life show forth your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the mouth of those who rise up against my children be silenced. And, Father Lord, let their life show forth your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the mouth of those who rise up against my ministry be silenced. And let the ministry show forth your glory in the name of Jesus. Whatever you do, whether your business, your marriage, your career, your children. Mention it this morning. 
Mighty Father, let the mouth of those who rise up against my business be silenced. And Lord, let this business show forth your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the mouth of those who rise up against my marriage be silenced. And let this marriage, O oh Lord, show forth your glory. Everything that you do, whether your career this morning, pray that mighty Father. The king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swear by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. So, Father, let the mouth of those who rise up against us, against our children, against our family, against our marriage, against our career, against our, our business, let them be silenced. And, Father, and let everything that we do show forth your glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We continue our prayer for intercessory now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. This morning we are interceding for students. We pray for, pray for all our students. And God will hear us in the name of Jesus. The book of Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12 says, Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. And Luke chapter 6, verse 40 says, A disciple is not above his teacher, for everyone, when he's fully trained, will be like his teacher. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We adore you. We thank you, King of Glory, for the care and the nurture of your children. O oh Lord God, Father, we ask that you will enlighten your wisdom, O oh Lord God, even to them, to the teachers, in the mighty name of Jesus. So that together, Father Lord, we we'll all rejoice in the knowledge of your truth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Let us pray this morning that the light of all our children, all our students, that their light would shine in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that they will be busted with, you know, these students, they are, they are full of curiosity you know they want to know they want to know so let us pray in this morning that the lord will protect their innocence and preserve them in the mighty name of jesus the lord will preserve them even from darkness of the world the lord will preserve them you know for for uh, every chaos that is happening in the world in the mighty name of jesus that is light will shine upon their path uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that, you know, as they will be meeting with friends, they will be making new friends. The, the, another school year is, is coming up in the mighty name of Jesus that uh, God's peace that surpasses all understanding will be upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray against any distraction and worry in the mighty name of Jesus. That the peace, the peace of God Himself, you know, will be with them at all times and in every way in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we ask this morning that your peace, oh Lord God, will be with all our students, will be with the parents, will be with the teachers at all times, in every way, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, always bring to their remembrance that you are with them always. Always we are with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that Father Lord, as this school year begins, cry Lord Jesus, we want to put in your charge every student in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will increase them in wisdom, you will increase them in knowledge, in understanding, and even in stature in the mighty name of Jesus. That Father Lord, the grace to be obedient, Father, you will grant to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, help them, Lord, as they learn, O oh Lord God, they learn with your fear in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as the teacher teach, they teach with your fear 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name, for there is none like you. In the name of Jesus, because you are the great teacher. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will instruct all our students, oh, Lord God, in your commandment. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that, oh, Lord God, your, you, 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 your work, your precept will be glorified in all of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. Because your word said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Oh, Father, we thank you, King of glory, that by your power, by your power, oh, all our students, even the teachers, oh, Lord God, that you, your power will help them to increase in wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, let us pray that the Lord will protect all our students from negative influences. Say, you know, we have negative influences all around us. Say, they are there. So they are going to school. They are meeting with diverse and different types of, of other children. Say. So let us pray this morning that the Lord will protect all our children from negative influences that will lead them away from him. Eh? In the name of Jesus, let us pray that the Lord will surround them with friendship and mentor type relationship eh? in the mighty name of Jesus that will give life, oh Lord God, that the, the, the meaning to their life will be Christ-centered eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, that righteousness will guide their thoughts and actions eh? In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, and that even this themselves, eh, in the name of Jesus, they will be friends that build up, eh, and they will have friends that build up, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be friends to those that, it will, that will influence them eh, for good, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will be a light eh, in the dark world, eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for protection over all our students as they are preparing to go back to school, even while still on holiday, that God's protection will be upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us ask that as these ones will be going out, some this is their first time going to school. Ah, Father, in the name of Jesus, we will go. Lord, we know that you are bigger than all of our worries. You are bigger than all of our anxiety. Oh, Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, eh, we ask that, oh Lord God, you will quicken you know, the hearts of everyone as these children, as they go back to school. Lord, that you will protect them in the mighty name of Jesus. That the Holy Spirit, oh Lord God, which you will, will surround them, oh Lord God, like as a fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh, and that, Father Lord, you will quell every fear, every anxiety of every parent eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, King of glory. We worship you because these children, they are all yours, oh, Lord God. Oh, the parents are just a caretaker. So, Father, Lord, we are committing these children into your hand that you will protect them. Protect them, oh, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that even as they go back to school, that they will be able to balance the school work and their faith in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? that one, oh Lord God, will not be a, an hindrance to the other in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name, oh Lord God, that you will teach these ones, oh Lord God, to balance, oh Lord God, their school work and their faith eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, eh? that they are sound, oh Lord God, in all ways, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name because we know that what we are asking for, Lord, you will do for us eh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you for the teachers. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus eh, that, that the teachers, oh Lord God, you will strengthen them. You will be with them. You will teach them. You will guide them even in your way in the mighty name of jesus lord we worship you this morning we give you all the praise we give you all the honor and adoration because we know that concerning our students you have had us we know that you will preserve them in the name of jesus we know that your protection will be upon them in the mighty name of jesus eh? and that they will do excellently well in the mighty name of jesus lord we worship you this morning we adore you we give you all the praise Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you because you have had us. Glory be to your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. 
And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen.